Take one. Hello, my name is Frank Wangler and I'd like to show you my bassoon wrap winder. This is the machine and uh, I don't like wrapping reeds and uh, so I'm working with the main tool room to develop a, a machine for wrapping reeds. Uh, the uh, main tool room is uh, the company that makes, they're in Scarborough, Maine, and they make the Van Hosen Hunt Profiler, uh, which we also use. Wrapping the Turk's head can be pretty boring work, um, uh, but the winder's faster and it's less stressful for the hands and wrists, and it's fun. My wife and I make and sell bassoon reeds under the brand name Bel Canto Reeds. So I'll demonstrate the uh, machine for you. First thing we want to do, of course, is to cut off the nub there on the wire, the third wire, and get that out of the way. And then I just press it onto the mandrel of the machine. And uh, I use knit crochet string and I double it because I'm always in a hurry to get the job finished rather than do single, a single string at a time. I always put a little duco cement here because reeds, the wood dries out and uh, you don't want the wrap to fall apart. So the reed winder helps with that. A quick put that on. Now the method we use involves starting with the string on the nub, just a little bit extended. And I wrap it around the top wire and then back around. And then I just start winding. And you can make this as neat and careful as you want. I'm usually in a big hurry to get this part of the job done. But you basically are spreading out and going back and forth with this to build a Turk's head. Uh, and the winder is just really uh, fun to use when you do this. It has a stop on it, so if I let go, it's not going to, it's not going to unwind, unlike some winders that I've seen that were made in the past. This has a stop gear on it that controls that. So I put as much nice string on there as I want, and then wind it to the top. And when I get to the top, I'm going to clip this off like so. And I'm going to push the first wire down and then lift the loop, lift the loop up. Come on, loop, demonstrate. Loop comes straight up. I take the end of this string and I push it from the top down, top down, and pull it off to the side. And now I just pull the other end of the string and I pull it through and then I pull the two of them back and forth back and forth and we have and those those two disappear into the wrap and then we just cut off the excess on both sides. And at this point you can actually leave it on the machine and put more glue on but I usually put the wires down get those wires out of the way I like them to be really symmetrical looking so I take my time and put those in place and uh, make sure that they're lined up nicely. Everything's copacetic, as they say, and I can put it back on the machine and just um, give it a good glue job. Cover it up real good, like this, real quick. And that's the bassoon wrap winder. That's under development at uh, Main Tool Room. We also use their the Hunt uh, Van Hosen Hunt Profiler, and uh, which is uh, a double profiler, which I prefer. I'll put that aside, let it dry. Double profiler means that you have a. Uh, here's uh, my machine. Uh, this is uh, also part of this is also in development because we have a steel cam here. But the double profiler, this is like a metal reed, and it copies that. And uh, this has uh, this particular machine has adjustment screws in the bottom, so I don't have to use shims. Also, something that's under development from the main tool room. Um, and uh, I like the fact that it gives a real clear copy uh, of the contours of the reed, uh, which is exactly what you want in a reed. All right. Thank you.